API 571, Damage Mechanisms Affecting Fixed Equipment in the Refining Industry. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad. Has experience more than 17 years in oil and gas field. His professional certification more than 26 certificates. ASME authorized inspector, AI, boiler, and pressure vessel. ASNT and DT level 3 in 11 methods from ASNT. 5 Weldon fee certifications from AWS. 2 certifications from TWI. 8 certifications from API. In addition lead auditor. In this lecture, we will discuss the graphitization. Description of damage. Graphitization is a change in the microstructure of certain carbon steels and half molybdenum steels. After long term operation in the 800 degrees Fahrenheit to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit range that may cause a loss in strength, ductility, and or creep resistance. Affected materials Some grades of carbon steel and half molybdenum steels Critical factors the most important factors that affect graphitization are the chemistry, stress, temperature, and time of exposure. The addition of about 0.7% chromium has been found to eliminate graphitization. Temperature has an important effect on the rate of graphitization. Below 800 degrees Fahrenheit 427 degrees Celsius, the rate is extremely slow. The rate of graphitization increases with increasing temperature. There are two general types of graphitization. First type is random graphitization. The second type is chains or local planes of concentrated graphite nodules. Weld heat affected zone graphitization is called eyebrow graphitization. Non-weld graphitization is a form of localized graphitization and it also occurs in a chain like Random graphitization, as shown in metallography image. Non-welded chain or local planes of concentrated graphite nodules as shown in left metallography image. Example of the weld heat affected zone eyebrow graphitization as shown in right image. Affected units or equipment Primarily hot wall piping and equipment in the fluid catalytic cracking FCC, catalytic reforming and coker units A typical fluid catalytic cracking unit in a petroleum refinery as shown in images A typical schematic flow diagram of a delayed coking unit as shown in images. Appearance or morphology of damage. Damage due to graphitization is not visible or readily apparent and can only be observed by metallographic examination. Advanced stages of damage related to loss in creep strength may include microfissuring, microvoid formation, subsurface cracking or surface connected cracking. 
as shown in image as example. Prevention, mitigation. Graphitization can be prevented by using low alloy steels containing about 0.7% chromium for long-term operation above 800 degrees Fahrenheit 427 degrees Celsius. Inspection and monitoring. Evidence of graphitization is most effectively evaluated through removal of full thickness samples for examination using metallographic techniques. Damage may occur mid-wall so that field replicas may be inadequate. The Summary of Graphitization Description Loss in Strength Ductility, creep resistance, temperature range, 800 degrees Fahrenheit to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, affected metallurgy, carbon steel and half molybdenum steel, prevention, adding 0.7% chromium, inspection methods. Metallographic test. Question number one. Graphitization occurs in carbon steels and half molybdenum steels after long term operation temperature range. Answer is B. Question number two. In general graphitization is normally Answer is B. Question number three. Materials most affected by graphitization are Answer is D. Question number four. Another more damaging type of graphitization results in chains or local planes of concentrated graphite nodules which can result in a significant reduction in load-bearing capacity while increasing the potential for brittle fracture. The two forms of this type of graphitization are known as Answer is B. Question number 5. Graphitization can be prevented for long-term operations above 800 degrees Fahrenheit 427 degrees Celsius by using Answer is B. Question number 6. Evidence of graphitization is most effectively evaluated through removal of full thickness samples for examination using Answer is D. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.